Life is a journey full of challenges. The challenge to become better, the challenge to do better, and the challenge to have a better experience of life. And most of the time, it is a challenge to make a decision and stand by it. Here at NU, we are given a healthy environment that serves as our new home to make friends, to succeed, to adopt, and to be empowered in service of the Filipino people and the global community. As learning is now unrestricted with access to an education that works free. ever wondered what the different fields of pharmacy are? Well, there are many, and preceptor pharmacy is one of them. A preceptor in pharmacy is a practicing pharmacist who provides personal instruction, training, supervision, and or mentoring to pharmacy students in a clinical setting to assist them develop from inexperienced learners into competent and qualified pharmacists. Every day is a new day to start a fresh, interesting, and timely topic. Let's explore preceptor pharmacy and discover more information about the field. To talk about more, I'm with this incredible people who are currently studying at the National University as first year BS in Pharmacy, your future pharmacist. Please welcome Judy Egipto, Kirsten Ragnola, Cherilyn Mancera, Kyla Bofil, and yours truly, Jewel Agonoy. And of course, this informational interview wouldn't be complete without our special guest, Miss It is nice to finally meet you, ma'am. Before we start, how can you describe preceptor pharmacy in one word? Challenging. What is your highest educational attainment? Yes, pharmacy. College degree. Where did you get your degree from? From University of Makati. Year 2017. Way back 2017, I graduated with um, leadership award since I belong to, ano po, to a student body organization and I also became a part of FJC PPHA. Let's talk about your college days. Can you give us a brief overview of your experience as a pharmacy student? Back when I was in college, actually, yun nga, full of ups and downs yung college ko. Since, um, ang dami kong pinagdaanan before ako makagraduate and maging registered pharmacist. So, I came from na, I started sa Central Scholar University, and then I transferred sa University of Makati way back 2012. Since yung transportation niya, is hindi ko siya kaya. Ngayon, since I am and your regular student, student before, <clears throat> mahirap siya kasi um, the set of friends and then the subjects and also your environment is hindi ako sanay sa ganun. That was before okay, when I started studying in University of Makati. Um, as I mentioned earlier, masyad, maraming ups and downs dahil ang hihirap ng mga subjects. First year pa lang, meron ka ng baby thesis, i-memorize, uh, for chem, ayun sa inorganic chemistry and other subjects. Basta mahirap siya. Pero, it was fun. It was really fun. Especially if magdeal ka with your patient okay? kasi we are exposed na rin naman sa mga patient or under the supervision of our pharmacist or faculty yung fulfillment parang napalitan lahat ng hirap mo kapag ka maka-expose ka sa patients and then they will say thank you yun talaga yung parang pinaka pasalamat na lang sa nangyari sa nagawa mo yun and then for pa ako mag-graduate um, the cross enroll pa ako from the FTI since mayroon akong naiwanan na minor subject and then yon saka lang ako nakagraduate nung natapos na ako so lipat-lipat ako noon and that time president pa ako ng organization before and also nagtitisis ako noon kami so yung hirap talaga sa akin struggle is real talaga tapos kasabayan mo mga major subject and then mayroon kang internship pero everything naman naging masaya lalo na kapag pare-pareho kayong nahihirapan ng mga classmates niyo at least fair <laughs> hindi lang ikaw yung nahihirapan pero after nun sobrang worth it after mong makapasa maging pharmacist Ayan. when you were studying what was your dream area of practice is preceptor really your first choice actually Hindi ko naman din expect na magiging preceptor ako. So before ang um, I was planning to work sa community or hospital pharmacy, but 
I cannot say na unfortunately, pero eto, nandito na ako as a preceptor in a community drugstore naman. Can you tell us the story of how you became a preceptor pharmacist? So, I resigned sa previous work ko way back 2022, ay 2020, um, dahil nagkaroon ng pandemic and I am not into online pa, nahihirapan din ako and yon nag-resign ako and then <clears throat> nag-apply ako sa generics pharmacy. So, I thought na pagka nandun ako, mapupunta ako sa community. Pero, syempre, <clears throat> ang basis kasi nila would be your experience. Okay? Um, meron naman ako experience before sa community drugstore, pero mas kinuha nila ako sa main office as part of training and development team or department. So, if you are part of the training and development team or department, <clears throat> you will be handling um, pharmacists, pharmacy assistants, franchises, ganon, and students. So, basically, nasa department namin, we handled internships, OJT. Kaya, pagka nasa department ka namin, um, automatically, magiging preceptor ka na. But of course, hindi agad-agad preceptor na labeled as preceptor. Um, magte-train ka muna, iti-train ka muna ng training manager mo, and then, yon. Kaya ako naging um, preceptor pharmacist. What are the preparations that you did to be in your current area? For the preparations, um, the TGP kasi, um, before pa, na mag, na mag, um, tawag dito, apply ako dito, they have this ano na, program for interns. Okay, but it is um, applicable for face-to-face. -face. Now, the training na meron kami, or ako, as a trainer pa rin, um, yung nagkakaroon kami ng one-on-one -on -one preparation or one-on-one -on -one talk or tutorial ng aking, na aming training manager. And then, lahat dinidiscuss niya, okay, o oh, ganito, ganyan. And then, yung magiging program namin and teachings and strategy is magkaiba si yung para kay student and syempre magkaiba yung para kay pharmacy assistant <coughs> and pharmacist. Yon. So, basically, we started muna sa drafting ng MOA. And then, after nun, um, i-endorse niya sa akin yung program learning outcomes ng schools. And then, um, tsaka na ako magbibase ng teachings ko doon sa um, program learning outcomes and objectives ng school. Ayon. The next special will surely feed the curiosity of many. What are the roles of preceptor pharmacists? So our role as a preceptor pharmacist, or my or my role as a preceptor pharmacist, are as follows. Number one is to deliver yung mga things na inexpect ng school or institution sa mga students. Okay, basically before we start or be, before kami magkaroon ng mawa with the institution or with the school, um, kailangan our program program of the TGP dapat inline siya or nakaangkor siya sa program ng institution. Hindi pwedeng eto lang or we will stick doon sa program namin. Okay. So, doon kami muna mag-start. And then, i-deliver lahat, diba? So, number one, ang role namin is isusupervise namin, syempre, yung mga students for both um face-to-face -face and online internship. Kailangan mag-deliver namin lahat ng mga lahat ng mga ina-expect ng institution or ng school, okay? Para pagka-graduate or pagkatapos nila ng kanilang internship, mamimit namin yon. Dapat, ang nirequire ng school ay ang studyante marunong mag-reconstitute, marunong mag-assess ng prescription, marunong mag gumamit ng mga pill counter tablet, marunong mag-compute ng mga senior citizen discounts, and others. Kailangan, at the end of their internship, alam yon ng mga students. Another one, um, role namin, other than doon, other than the delivery ng modules and pag a sa kanila sa kanilang online internship, Siyempre, kailangan, um, ginagay din namin siyempre yung mga students sa mga sa kanilang attitude. Paano attitude po? For example, ano ba sila mag-deal sa mga patients? Kasi we have different types of patients and customers na may encounter. Merong mga lion, merong mga mababait lang, merong mga makukulit. Dapat, receptor, kaya namin i-guide student kung paano sila i-handle ma'am and others. Ayun, marami kasi mga ganong instances na nasigawan ng senior citizen, hindi na bumalik, ano na mag-intern. 
Ang pinaka ano kasi namin, meron na kaming specific na uh, focus. So, for example, sa sector kami, ang focus namin ay community pharmacy okay, or drugstore. More on applications, more on drills and skills talaga kami. Okay? And kung meron man kaming principal, mga theories na ituturo, hindi ganun karami as to compare sa akadim na talagang madami silang mga ganong teaching sa as a community pharmacist or as a preceptor pharmacist more on skills and performance yung rinigradean talaga namin. What are the opportunities of growth in your area of practice? Of course, number one, linkages. Ayan. Linkage na very useful siya okay especially kapag ka matatapos na yung program okay they will contact you they you will also contact them and experience then kasi um kahit na under kami ng training and development syempre um dagdag experience din yan sa amin as a preceptor pharmacist na Okay, um, hindi lang mga hindi lang mga franchises, mga pharmacy assistants or um, pharmacists yung nati train namin. We also train. We can also train okay, student pharmacists yon. And syempre, um for future collaborations na din yon. What do you think are the advantages and disadvantages of being a preceptor pharmacist? Number one talaga na advantage niyan ay magkakaroon ka ng mga linkages. Okay, magkakaroon ka ng connections. Pero connections in a good side. Ah. Okay, yun yung isa sa advantage. Pangalawa, additional nga yun na experience tayo as a as a preceptor pharmacist. Um, you will be exposed with different personalities and different people. Okay, hindi lang mga, hindi lang mga pharma or pharmacy assistant yung na-handle mo. So, kahit pa paano, magkakaroon ka na rin ng idea, ah, okay, ganito pala kapag student yung i-train mo. Okay. Another advantage niyan ay, syempre, mas magiging, ano ka pa, mas dadamihan mo pa yung pag-research mo. Syempre, kailangan, um, tawag dito, hindi, hindi mo lang ililimit yung, parang naano ka pa, lumalabas ka pa sa box mo, sa comfort zone mo. Okay, dahil um, kailangan mo extend yung knowledge mo, yung skills mo regarding with the specific topic. Okay? And for the disadvantage, well, actually, I didn't, I cannot consider this as disadvantage dahil kaya naman siya. Okay? Pero siguro, some preceptor pharmacists, ito yung nakikita nilang disadvantage. Okay? Um, it is a responsibility kasi, yan, another responsibility na ng mga preceptor pharmacists other than nasa loob ka lang ng isang in, ng isang drugstore ng isang drugstore or office okay kasi you need to have patience with your student okay with your student intern napakadami talaga ng mga student to be honest ang makukulit kaya um, walang pinipiling oras umaga gabi hapon gabi madaling araw ikukulitin ka nila okay um, lalo na ngayon high flex pa lang tayo may face to face and then may may online internship so <clears throat> other students talagang hindi sila techy okay other students talagang kulang yung resources nila wala silang internet connection okay and sometimes we don't know if it is true pa ba or hindi so yun yung nagiging ano namin yun yung pinaka disadvantage siguro pero um personally um hindi ko siya nako consider as disadvantage kasi um, exposed na ako wala pa ako dito sa TGP nung nasa academy pa ako exposed na ako lalo na um napagdaanan ko din yung online na teaching yeah like to know more about your internship. Can you tell us where you conducted your internship and how was the journey? Ang um, schedule namin noon isang semester, okay, you have to finish 300 hours at a time or 204 hours. 204 hours at a time. Kasi 4 hours na, na yun ay orientation. So, mula June hanggang October, if I'm not mistaken, ginugugol namin yung oras namin sa internship. Tapos, Monday to Thursday, sure kami, nasa school kami, and then Friday, Saturday lang kami nag intern Masaya yung internship ko. Okay, sobrang, ako sobrang natuwa talaga ako. Kasi, bago pa kami magkaroon ng minor internship kasi na ganun, meron kami exposure na 45 hours sa isang independent drugstore. You will choose. Yun. Masaya siya kasi na-expose na ako, nagkakaroon ako ng basic counseling. Yan kasi yung favorite part ko talaga. Gustong gusto ko talaga na-expose at nakikipag-communicate with the patient. And then, yung magtitingin-tingin ka ng gamot, alam mo, yung parang nangangarap pa ng one day, magkakaroon ka rin ng ganito, ayun siya. It was fun. It was really fun. And exciting talaga. Every day, hindi ka yung, kapag kasi nasa classroom ka, diba? Ay, may pasok na ako kinabukasan. Ako hindi. Yes, may pasok na naman. Yes, Friday na naman. Mag turn na naman ako. And we are wearing our scrub suit kasi. So, di ba kasi impact pag naka-scrub suit ka? Saya siya, actually.
Do you think preceptor is an underrated career here in our country? Well, for me, yes, underrated pa ang pagiging preceptor pharmacist kasi another responsibility na maging preceptor pharmacist and another one kasi you're not being compensated kung magiging preceptor pharmacist ka bayani ka dito kung tingalain pa na ano and ma-acknowledge pa yung home namin as a preceptor pharmacist please give advice to our aspiring pharmacists and feel free to persuade them into looking at the field of preceptorship Para sa student pharmacists out there, um, kung nahihirapan kayo, it's fine. That's normal. Ang hindi normal is hindi kayo mahihirapan, to be honest. Tuloy nyo lang. Kung kayo ay napilitan sa course ninyo, ginagawa nyo siyang pre-med, helpful yan. Pagka-graduate kayo at nakapasa kayo ng boards, pare-pareho lang kayo pharmacist. Yan lang, masaya naman siya. Masaya kahit na underpaid kayo, masaya siya. Yan. at a bluff, yeah, because um, may mga pharmacy assistants na hindi pharmacy graduates. Merong medtech, nurses, merong yung iba, business administration, and others. A bluff, no! Okay? Yun nga yung misconception talaga na kaya tayo tinatawag na tinderas and tinderas ng mga gamot. Dahil they thought na pagkatinda lang tayo, pagkabot lang tayo dito lang. Pero that's our pharmacy assistant. Hindi lang tayo more on dispensing. We also reconstitute, we also counsel our patient. Nagliliis din tayo, nagkakonduct din tayo ng mga charitable works, mga medical mission, and others. Of course, it's a fact, okay? We want the best for our students. And we are training them, we are teaching them na hindi maging katulad namin, pero more than magaling, mas um, competent, Ako, personally, mas gusto kong mas angat ang mga students ko kesa sa akin. Yes, maraming job diversity sa, sa, field, na, sa field natin. It's a fact. Thank you very much for the information shared that brought brightness to all these questions. Receptors are truly the heart of our pharmacy program. Their contributions advance the industry and ensure students became professionals.